If you looked up into a crystal clear night sky, you'd probably spot bright dots wandering among the stars. Those are planets. With good conditions and sharp eyesight, you could see every planet in our solar system, except one, Neptune. The most distant, the smallest of the icy giants, and easily the most mysterious. It's so far away that sunlight takes over four hours to reach it. And yet, when we finally got our first close look, Neptune stunned scientists with violent storms, supersonic winds, and a beauty that no one expected. This is Galaski, and today we're diving deep into the cold, wild world of Neptune, the planet we still don't fully understand. Unlike every other planet, Neptune wasn't discovered because someone spotted it through a telescope. It was discovered through math, one of the greatest detective stories in astronomy. In the 1840s, a French mathematician named Urban Le Verrier noticed something odd about Uranus's orbit. It wasn't moving exactly how Isaac Newton's laws predicted. Le Verrier suspected an unseen planet was tugging on Uranus with his gravity. He ran the numbers, calculated where that hidden planet should be, and sent his prediction to the Berlin Observatory. There, astronomer Johann Galle pointed his telescope to that exact spot in the sky, and within an hour, Neptune was found, the first and only planet ever discovered through mathematics. Just a few days later, its largest moon, Triton, was discovered, and Neptune's story of mystery had just begun. Neptune sits about 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun, roughly 30 times farther than Earth. Out there, sunlight is so faint, it's only one thousandth as bright as what we feel on Earth. Its year lasts 165 Earth years, meaning since its discovery in 1846, we've only witnessed one full Neptunian year. The planet's extreme distance makes it difficult to study. Only one spacecraft has ever visited it, Voyager 2, back in 1989. Voyager's journey took 12 years and relied on a once-in-a-lifetime alignment of planets that won't happen again for another 175 years. When it finally reached Neptune, humanity got its first true glimpse of this frozen giant, and it was breathtaking. As Voyager 2 approached, Neptune transformed from a pale blue dot into a world of swirling clouds and dark tempests. The spacecraft flew within 5,000 kilometers of the planet's North Pole, the closest planetary flyby ever attempted. It revealed faint rings, new moons, and a giant storm larger than Earth itself, the now famous Great Dark Spot. The winds around that storm reached 2,400 kilometers per hour, the fastest ever recorded in our solar system, nearly supersonic. Voyager's data showed Neptune as an incredibly dynamic planet, alive with energy despite its freezing environment. How could something so far from the Sun be so active? That mystery still puzzles scientists today. Neptune's average temperature is a brutal minus 201 degrees Celsius, or minus 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Its axis is tilted 28 degrees, similar to Earth's, meaning it also experiences four long seasons. The catch? Each one lasts about 40 Earth years. Right now, Neptune's southern hemisphere is in spring, and during this period, the sunlight, though 900 times dimmer than ours, still warms the atmosphere slightly. That small temperature change releases frozen methane, brightening the planet's southern regions. That methane is also what gives Neptune its stunning blue color, 
absorbing red light and scattering blue. It's not just a color, it's chemistry and physics painting a cosmic masterpiece. Hydrogen and helium dominate Neptune's atmosphere, but about 19% methane makes the difference. What Voyager 2 saw was chaos, winds moving opposite to the planet's rotation, violent storms appearing and vanishing in just a few years. The Great Dark Spot was one such storm, Earth-sized, rotating counterclockwise like a hurricane. But when the Hubble Space Telescope looked again a few years later, it had completely disappeared. New storms have come and gone since, one in 2015, another seen fading in 2020. Unlike Jupiter's long-lived red spot, Neptune's storms are temporary, colossal but short-lived, like flashes of fury across the cold abyss. No other planet's weather changes so rapidly, and we still don't fully understand why. So, what's happening deep inside Neptune that drives such power? Despite being farther from the Sun, Neptune is warmer than Uranus. It actually radiates 2.6 times more heat than it receives from the Sun. Astronomers think Neptune still retains heat from its formation, or perhaps it releases energy through dynamic internal processes we don't yet grasp. Inside lies a core of rock and metal, surrounded by a deep ocean of water, ammonia, and methane ices. Under the immense pressure, millions of times Earth's atmospheric pressure, that methane could break apart, forming liquid carbon and even diamond rain. Imagine oceans of liquid carbon with diamond icebergs drifting across. It's mind-bending, but scientists have simulated such conditions in labs. Beneath Neptune's beauty may lie a glittering world of diamonds. Neptune's magnetic field is just as strange. It's tilted 47 degrees off its rotation axis, not centered like Earth's, but offset and lopsided. This bizarre field likely originates in the planet's electrically conducting mantle, not its core. The result? A magnetosphere that twists and flips as Neptune rotates. Like Earth, Neptune has aurorae, but they're faint, glowing arcs rather than bright polar lights. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, in March 2025, astronomers captured the clearest images yet of Neptune's mid-latitude auroras shining across its icy atmosphere. At the same time, Webb detected something surprising. Neptune's upper atmosphere had cooled dramatically dropping hundreds of degrees since Voyager's time. Why? We still don't know, but the data shows Neptune is changing faster than we ever imagined. Until Voyager 2, astronomers weren't sure Neptune even had rings. It turns out it does. Five faint, dusty rings, named after those who helped discover the planet. They're dark, fragile, and almost invisible against space's backdrop. The outermost ring, the Adams ring, contains mysterious bright arcs, clumps that refuse to spread evenly like Saturn's rings do. We don't yet know why they stay bunched up. Some think small moons are shepherding them, keeping the material locked in place. It's another Neptunian puzzle, fragile, beautiful, and defiant of logic. Of Neptune's 14 known moons, one stands above all, Triton. Unlike any other large moon, Triton orbits backward, opposite Neptune's rotation. That means it didn't form there. It was captured, likely a former dwarf planet from the Kuiper Belt, the same icy region Pluto calls home. Triton is about 1,680 miles wide, making it larger than Pluto itself. Its surface is a frozen mix of nitrogen, methane, and water ice, colored with reddish tholins created by sunlight striking organic molecules. 
Voyager 2 revealed geysers erupting from beneath its surface, plumes of nitrogen gas shooting eight kilometers high. Beneath that icy crust may lie a liquid ocean heated by radioactive decay and tidal forces. If true, Triton could be one of the most promising places in the outer solar system to search for life, not on the surface, but hidden beneath miles of ice. Triton isn't just Neptune's moon. It's a captured world stolen from the Kuiper Belt, a world with its own story to tell. Beyond Triton, Neptune hosts smaller, irregular moons, fragments, captives, and wanderers. Proteus, one of the larger ones, looks battered and misshapen, scarred by ancient impacts. In 2013, the Hubble Space Telescope spotted a new tiny moon, Hippocamp, likely a fragment broken off from Proteus itself. Neptune's gravitational reach extends so far that even distant objects like 2020 VN40 orbit the Sun in sync with it, locked in a 10 to 1 resonance, one orbit for every 10 of Neptune's. This subtle cosmic dance shows how Neptune's gravity shapes the edges of our solar system. Despite all these discoveries, Neptune remains largely unexplored. Only one spacecraft has ever visited, and that was over 35 years ago. NASA has proposed several missions, but none have yet been approved. However, China has hinted at a possible Neptune orbiter and probe around 2033, which could finally reveal what lies beneath those clouds. Until then, Neptune keeps its secrets, a planet at the edge of sunlight filled with storms, diamonds, and dreams. This is Galaski, and subscribe to the channel where the sky fades and infinity begins.